Hey. hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Environments on Unreal Engine 4. Last time we looked at terrain and just how we can sort of alter the look of our terrain, make uh, mountains, hills or make divots in the, in the landscape and obviously change things like our um, different sort of textures we had on there, um, all using the powerful tool Brushify. I am no way uh, affiliated with Brushify by the way. Uh, I just love their stuff. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be looking at um, sort of foliage uh, and what we can do with it. So let's click on meshes and come to our foliage file. This is in Brushify for me. You can download. There's loads of free tree packs or foliage packs and things that you can get from Unreal themselves on the marketplace or other people. Um, so obviously don't forget to go and download one of those before uh, we go ahead. Obviously if you're not brush using Brushify like me uh, and you are using a different sort of uh, tree thing, uh, tree foliage pack, they'll be in meshes and foliage as well. They, they should be structured, the files very similar. Uh, and we, we have options here with, for trees and bushes and again it should be the same for you guys when you load up yours. You'll have these um, these different trees here. right? Uh, I think for brushify they give you the foliage types already if you if they don't i'll show you what happens so if you go to modes and you go to foliage just like this let's go back to where was it birch just pick i'm going to pick one of these just to show you guys so if you drag this it might uh for the for it to compile um but in a minute it should like ping up on my hand um this thing here there we go. Um, now, this isn't a foliage type. This is just the actual mesh itself. Um, when you click it in there, uh, it should. Oh, it might be because it's already picking up on this foliage type. What would happen is is it will ask you to create a foliage type because it likes to have its own specific um, kind of mesh type. Uh, because these are already made and filed correctly. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> because they're already set up um, as their own, it literally is just pulling these through. So, but normally what would happen, you'll get a box come up asking you to save the foliage type and what to call it. Uh, so let's add these other two in as well. We might as well now uh, add those in. There we go. Uh, we're also going to go back. Uh, we're going to add in some other tree types because I quite like these two. These um, maple, large, medium, and small. And we're also going to add in some actual bushes as well. Uh, and the reason we're doing all of that is because um, we want to have a nice variance as we kind of start lathering stuff onto the terrain. Uh, click on all of these. Click them all on. Okay. Uh, you can change. Now, if you want to take your time and really get into this, which you should want to if you're making a serious game. You're going to click on each one of these. I, I dragged that down, I should actually be up. Uh, and you can change the density, right, for each one. So uh, let's put this to 10. These are the, these values are very inflated. And you'll see, oh, ah, I could, uh, let me show you why first. That's why everything is crammed into this small area because all their density is put up to 100. So they're all taking priority and they're just filling every last morsel of space. So click Control Z to get rid of that. And that's why you kind of want to start A, start lowering these down. And we're also going to mess with the figures up here too to make sure we're really not getting that much in that smaller space. Uh, these, because they're quite small, they're quite thin, they're not as bushy. I don't want as many of those around, so I'm going to put these down to two. Right? Oh, that one's already on five anyway. Um, now let's click it. It's way less dense, right? Way less dense. But we're going to make it even, even less dense than that, right? And we're going to make it a way bigger area. And you'll see your landscape coming together so fast, right? So that's just our trees. So click back onto foliage and go back to bushes. Click onto juniper bush and you'll get these lovely little bushes. They are very small. They look, they look kind of big, but they're not. Uh, trust me, they are very, very small bushes. Um... We're going to add those in too. Now, <coughs> if you're 
using the marketplace there is far more stuff you can utilize uh, things like uh, people have even made things like leaf patches twigs fallen branches um, rocks and all sorts and even bushes and plants and flowers because this is quite powerful and it already does the things like the little flowers for you we don't have to worry about things like that we don't have to worry about going to the marketplace to do that so if you're using brushify they've done the flowers for you and it actually already looks fantastic so there's really nothing you need to do there um, we're going to bring the bushes down to probably about five for each because we don't want that to really overpower anything else uh, especially not our maple trees okay so let's make the size of this thing way bigger there we go much better now you can see the density of this is already still far too much I mean we could walk through this you might be happy with a dense forest you might want a dense forest uh, you will be able to walk through these trees until we add collisions on but if you don't have collisions on this is gonna be a nightmare to get through uh, from one end to the other and especially if you don't have a map or a compass you could be walking in circles and you wouldn't even know far too dense in my opinion um, so let's come out of that um, so what we want to do is we want to change this density it's, it's only on 0 0.5 bear in mind so let's try a 0 0.05 instead and see how much we get still a huge oh god still a huge amount really in the grand scheme of things wow even a 0 0.05 that's incredible okay uh, let's try 0 0.005 better way better there we go so you now have got these like larger breaks between trees and foliage and you've got these cool little bushes and if you wanted to build sort of um, um, a sort of key location within this small uh, area you can easily array stuff right make your size a lot smaller so you're not taking out nearly everything uh, let's put it to 110 you can just erase as you see fit okay and you can open up a little bit of an area and start messing around right uh, and what makes this tool so useful when you're working in Unreal Engine is that if I re put that to the top now we're happy with the space of everything you can literally just start painting this might take a couple of seconds to uh, load up is it painting no it's because I'm on a race apologies there you go you can literally paint your whole terrain okay spacings out a little bit so you've got some open land and things like that don't paint your mountains so they can still stand out a bit there you go and and within a couple of seconds as long as you've got your planning right for your own game all your trees and your foliage and your, your bushes they're done they're absolutely done uh, without you know except for you know tweaking a few things here and there you've got this absolutely fantastic looking uh, landscape you've got trees you've got all sorts there's there's other ways of doing it so you can do it procedurally so if you wanted to do it procedurally uh, you would utilize if you come back into select mode you would utilize a uh, where is it post I think it's the post process volume yeah you don't want to use the post I'm pretty sure it's a post process volume uh, you can use your post post process volume for a lot of things but one of them is uh, spawning in your foliage I might cover that in one one lesson because uh, it can be very very good I mean you can even do it so that if there's like certain levels uh, or certain inclines it doesn't spawn things there or it's all only spawn certain things there so it can be very very good um, but I personally just like to paint it because I have a lot more control of where things end up um, but it's, it's completely down to you uh, if you want to if you didn't want to paint everything and you just wanted um, sort of uh, can I, how do I, uh, I thought there was a way to deactivate everything, so for example, uh, let's get rid of all of these things, 
and let's just have uh, this one you can also just play single right so if you were like right okay I, I don't like this it needs to break up a bit let's just put you know a few of these down here and maybe around here too just to break up this kind of open valley area here right um, or maybe you're like oh this isn't dense enough for me let's just you know add a few more here you can do that right so let's get kind of get back into our position of where we were looking at our mountains um, which was around about here we've now got trees in it okay so if you're making like um, a lot of people like to make uh, environmental images within unreal because you know you can get these absolutely stunning results especially when you start messing around with things like your atmospheric fog levels your, your directional lights and things like that you get these absolutely stunning especially when you've got like rays of light coming through from ray tracing and stuff like that you get some phenomenal images so people like to sort of come down to this level and like look at um their scenery and, and kind of add and take things away so i quite like what well, we've, we've kind of got this You've got this small little forest on the left hand side kind of showing up you've got the mountains far away in the background and you've just got these odd few trees dotted around and i quite like the fact that i've just added those three in because now you've got these kind of cool sharp shadows coming in uh, i would order like that one though um maybe add one more over here and you've got these cool shadows coming in now and it kind of opens up to this mountain range so it's now kind of like what do you want to add in right um before we're, in the next episode we're going to start doing things like adding in uh rivers and and little things like that um into the scene and i'm kind of thinking where do i want to put that i think i want it kind of coming along here and then sort of uh i kind of want it coming through the scene right <coughs> maybe not quite straight but definitely like kind of coming along here so let's go back into our landscape mode for a second we can always remove the trees and add them slightly further away slightly closer just so we can get the room for the um for the river in so let's go to sculpt mode uh, i want to drop my radius down uh, to about 500 i guess yeah i think this will be enough if you hold shift it lowers the terrain in instead of raising it um, uh, and then we could just use a flatten tool so we get a nice even sort of waterbed I think that's actually probably a bit too big still if, if I'm honest for my liking uh, again if you're following along you can use any that seems a little bit better you can use any size you guys want this is purely just for for me okay so you can see it going down let's go to about there i think and then click our flatten tool and then this should follow along whatever i take okay and you kind of want to go along for as far as you can see in your scene right but be careful because obviously we've got um, the uh, because we've got different levels um, of terrain. You don't want to have it catch up with um, an area that's slightly lower down. Um, but you can always make it like your river even deeper. I mean that doesn't even look that deep actually does it let's be honest right i think we'll go a bit lower <coughs> a bit lower than that right um shift and down 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 right flatten tool and you, again i know we're getting some sharp ed edges but you can also smooth these out once we're done is that It really doesn't seem that low, does it? Hmm. 
Again, this could just be to do with the terrain. Interesting. Okay. Some. Um, let's just get rid of that darn plant. Uh, it breaks. Oh, I got rid of probably a bit too much. <laughs> we can always add it back in. It's all good. So go back to our landscape tool. Sculpt. Flattens on. Great. And just follow it along. Uh, there we go. And we did say we wanted to come towards those. Keep in it. Sometimes it can be hard to see the route you're taking, especially as it starts to level out a bit too much. Um, okay. Right, I think we have to go even deeper. Um, it's just, oh, it's put our strength up a lot more. There we go. That looks a bit better. Right, and we can always go lower where the terrain changes. Just that. Uh, get some grey in it so we know roughly where we're working with. That's better. Loads better. Then we can always smooth out these jagged edges, as I said before. So don't be too alarmed if you're following along and you're getting a lot of them. Uh, that will ha that they will go when um, we su smooth things out. Okay, cracking stuff. Um, I think it should be okay. So we were around right here. We're gonna have to rebuild the plant, the trees again, because you had that little bit of forest coming up, like so. And as you can see, we've now got. We can move away from it a little bit more. Um, we've got this cool riverbed in there. So let's go back to our foliage and click paint. Um, we're just going to let the randomizer take effect, if it will. Oh, it's because ah, ah, would help if I turned everything on, wouldn't it? There we go. Now we'll let the randomizer take effect a bit. Okay. Let's get a bit more density in there. There you go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, let's come back down a bit more to our river's edge. And let's click single. I'm going to untick these, and this will be the final thing we do in this episode. But hopefully, you've learned a little bit more about foliage and how it can, um, how effective it can be, and how quick it can be, and how easy it can be. Um, Let's move over a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. We'll uh, we'll open up that that scene, that mountain range a bit more uh, in the next episode. But yeah, nice, quick, easy. If you've got the uh, items, I mean, you can make your own trees. You can do that in Blender, relatively quick and easy. Um, and yeah, just it it can be so easy, right? It doesn't have to be hard. And you think in what? two 20 minute episodes we've got a terrain and we've got trees and you've you've got a landscape starting to form um we'll keep developing the scene in the next couple of episodes uh, and then i'll show you things like world composition how that can increase your landscape mass for things like open world games um just so much quick so much more quickly than than you, you would believe um but yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. If you've enjoyed this and you found this useful, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Uh, it really, really does make a massive effect for me on this channel. So thank you so much guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.